Okay guys, so we got them skinned down. Got everything skinned, you know, the hide completely off of it. Um, it's actually going downhill and it's sliding on the hide. But <laughs> anyways, how I do this is you pull this back leg up. I'm gonna start with this back leg and uh, stay up there. Come right into the center of the, where his um, hip bone is right down right down against the, the hip bone and keep pressure out on the on the deer now you can see there, there's like hopefully you can see there's like tenons and stuff there uh, you want to watch you don't get into the gut see right there the gut comes out it will happen but just don't cut it you don't want to get cut that gut and then I come right around when you can feel the bone in there again just kind of watch that gut you don't want to get in there into that gut sometimes it pops out of there like it's doing now but just keep coming holding it back out of the way if you can now you hear that right there's the the bone I'm just coming right along right along the bone see the bone there now I'm gonna look for the um, joint which is right there you just kind of feel along there you can see the joint right there you catch that joint where the socket goes in where the two the ball and the socket meet and you just keep coming working around that you work right around that bone follow that bone one around Keep working it right following the bone now just watch there again you have gut man he keeps sliding on me I see that. I 50 cord into the tree over here. yeah come right around and just follow the bone that's all you're doing right and there you go there's your and you can scrape some of that hair off if you so choose um, if not, you can pack, pick it off later. But then what I do is I have a one of those construction bags, grocery store, uh, not grocery store bags, construction garbage bags, and I just stick stick everything right in there. You can uh, do a side at a time and lay it on the hide and stuff if you want. But can you grab that other side there, yeah. Ben? Bear with us, folks. And you just drop that right down in there. And then what you do is come up here to the front shoulder and pull up. And right here, you just cut, cut right down along there. And you can see it just pulled. There's no ball and socket back there. It's just a, there's like a bone and tissue and muscles, all that holds that together. There's no, no socket in that front shoulder. See that? It just comes right off, right like that. And just keep that pressure back on that. Do you need me to? No, I think I can get it. Okay. Now. What I'm doing is I'm gonna come over here. You wanna come over here, Bub? Yeah. And uh, now I'm gonna take and uh, take the loin, the back strap out. Okay. So what I do is right here. You can feel where the m muscle and the gut is, right here. Okay. And just kind of cut lightly and because you don't have to cut real hard to get through there's like a little thin layer right here and then that's the what the meat you're after right there Good stuff. and you just cut right along along that and come you can kind of see the line right here how that runs 
okay. Um, keep that with the, there's the brisket. Try and keep, keep all this together if I can. I like to do that. Oh, there I got into the rib and into the inside, which is okay because I want to, I want to get the heart out then. I like, I like eating the heart. And so this is, oh crud. Okay, so what we do is then I'll take this and I'll come right in along here. Now, along the backbone, you come follow the, your backbone right in and make a cut right along that backbone. Right like that, and you can just feel you feel it as you're going. Right. Right along the back. Right along the backbone. Now you come up here, right along this top, you can come up and cut this front off. Right up at the neck. I'm sorry I'm going a little fast. Um, my battery light's flashing. This cold weather's hard on them. But then I just skin right in along the rib cage. I can switch to my phone. Now, just want to follow that that rib cage. Now back here, you got to watch you don't get into the gut. Right back in. Just follow that right down along. And get back in there. Get as much of that meat as you can. You just keep skinning it down till you meet up with your other cut, right like that. There I meet. Right like that. That's a nice piece of meat. Yeah, it's good stuff right there. And there you go. There's your back strap. Nice. Good eating right there. So um, I'm gonna take and uh, shut this camera off for a second, and maybe let it warm up, and we'll see if it. Uh, battery light goes a little better um, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side as what I did here um, and then I'll uh, I'll get back with you so all right I'll see you in a little bit okay so what we're doing here is I'm gonna cut the neck off here um, coming that's that front shoulder that's all blown up now I want to take uh, come right around here now you can see there's like this line of meat that runs down along here right in here that's where his windpipe is okay so you just come in there come right down and right down there and you can cut that off pull that up cut his windpipe right out of there right like that and there's his windpipe Okay, so now, like I said, I apologize if I'm going a little fast. Um, my camera's beeping at me. Battery's low. Now, what I'm going to do with this here is come up here behind the head. I'm just cutting the meat down pretty much to the bone. And then I'm just going to take my saw... Cut that right off of there. Cut his head right off of there. Now I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna saw through that bone again. And uh, cut that meat. Right off of there. There. 
Now you got your neck, and that's some of your got some dirt on there. That's okay, won't hurt nobody. Um, hair. You always gotta have that hair. But there's like stuff that goes back along the the ribs and that. A lot of a lot of good hamburg meat mm -hmm. on there. So take all that. So um, I'm gonna show you here. I'm gonna shut this camera off, and then I'm gonna show you one other thing. Well, a couple other things here, but uh, I think this cold weather is doing the camera battery in, so we're just gonna kind of keep doing this. So, all right, see you in a little bit. Okay. All right. So now you got the inside here. Um, people call it different stuff. Some people call it the loin. Some people call it the fish. Some people call it all kinds of stuff. You want to be careful here that you don't cut into your gut. Okay? Right along the backbone here is this awesome piece of meat. Call it whatever you want. But you just can reach in here. That should warm your hands up. Yeah. And you can use your thumb and peel it away. It's actually just it's that light and easy. You can Use your thumb and peel that, peel that back, um, if you can, can, uh, it doesn't always work like that, but a lot of times it will. It's not a huge piece of meat, but it's really tasty. Real tender. Yep, really tender. And actually, use your fingers just to pull it, pull it out. Right there it is. That's all it is. But that is some good eating right there. That's yeah. some really good eating. Really good eating. I'm not, I can do the same to the other side. Um, I actually don't even have to flip it over, but I, I will. See, it runs right along this, right along this backbone here. Excuse you. Pardon me. <laughs> <laughs> um. You can just take and pull that with your fingers right off the top of his backbone. If I can get it, sometimes you gotta just kind of. Cut just a little bit there again. Just don't fit into your gut. There you go. Now, I can take and... I can reach all the way up in here. And there's his lungs. I don't even have to get into the guts or nothing. Um, I can just take and... Wait... Okay. Now I gotta get up in there. I might be able to do it right here through this hole. Right here. And I I gotta cut that windpipe or those arteries and everything off of that heart. Now I can take and pull the heart right out. Again, you can gut it if you want to, but I'm not, not doing that. So, showing you a way to quarter it. If you want the heart, there you go. Yum. There's the heart. That is so tasty. Yeah, that's I, good stuff there. I did a video on that under Mountain Woman Journals. All of our old videos we're trying to get merged over to Trayer Wilderness. It now, just takes time. Yeah. Those of you who... Like nice. liver and onions. Yummy. You can have your liver and onions. There you go. There's your liver. All right. There you go. That's it. And that's how you quarter them out. I'm gonna um, get things rolled up here and 
um, get it on the pack frame. Um, as I'm doing it, maybe I'll show you some of that as I'm getting it packed up. So, all right, we'll see you in a bit. Okay, so what I did is I tied a loop on this paracord. I always carry about oh, 10, 12 feet of it around with me. No matter where I go, I always carry it around. But anyways, just tied a loop on there. That's what I like about these pack frames too is they got these hooks here on the side that you can put your lash your whether you're using bungee cords or whatever lash your stuff on lash your stuff on there so then just come around and I can hook on this one in the other side and I can cinch that down come back across here cinch that down back across to here, set that down, and so on. Now, I'm going to get this, um, this uh, hide rolled up and get another piece of cordage. And uh, I'm just taking and tying a slip knot and a couple half hitches in that side. Um, I'm going to get that hide rolled up and everything. And then uh, I'll take and uh, lash that on there and I'll show you that when I'm done. There's also one, a loop down here that I'm going to tie onto later. Right here on the bottom. There's a loop right, right there that you can take. Maybe I'll do that too. Take a bungee cord if you have one, um, and go there and come up and hook on like that. So I'll uh, once I get that all lashed down, I'll show you the pack and then we'll get on out of here. So, all right, see you in a bit. Okay, guys, so we got her all lashed down. Everything's ready to go. And uh, get this sucker up on my back. Okay, I can build on. Alright, guys, so I got everything backed up and ready to go. So hopefully, you got something out of this and. Uh, got some good information and everything and uh, have any questions give us a shout if you got rude comments take a hike <sighs> sorry I can't stand rude people but uh, anyways I guess till next time take care God bless and we'll catch you later thanks for watching